everyone, I am Shruti and today I am making you a dosa. It's not a regular dosa, it is made out of the watermelon rind. So let's get cooking. Watermelon rind dosa, you need grated watermelon rind, the white part which I will show you later. You need two green chilies, half a cup of grated coconut, half a cup of jaggery grated, a handful of coriander leaves chopped and half a teaspoon of jeera and you need one cup of rava and salt to taste. So for the watermelon rind dosa you need the rind of a watermelon so you have to take out all the flesh and the white part that remains is what you need for the dosa. So let me show you how to grate it. So on a grater you put the white part and just grate it till the white flesh is completely clean of the rind. I have taken out the white portion of the skin of the watermelon. Make sure it's completely clean and you use up every white part of the skin of the watermelon. So this is what you get once you grate the rind. This is the white part. It's got a lot of water content. So do not worry, the rava is going to soak up everything. Then I'm going to knead it with my hand. And this is going to be resting for about 15 to 20 minutes until the rava soaks up. And the rava has completely uh, soaked up and it's become a little soft now. And the dough looks a little soggy. So at this point, if your dough looks soggier or watery than this, Add a little bit of rava and mix it and see if you can get a consistency where it's holding itself completely like a dough, soft dough. So let's get to making this dough. I have folded a piece of foil and applied a little bit of ghee over this. And now I'm going to just uh, take a small ball of dough. So you can go smaller if you're not sure of uh, making a big one. So you start patting this around and don't make it very thin, it should be a little thick, just pat it uniformly. Now you make three holes so that you can fry it well and pour oil in these so that it cooks really well. Grease your tawa with a little bit of ghee. My tawa is smoking hot, just spread the ghee around with a kitchen paper. Take this on your palm and just throw it on the tawa. Now all you have to do is wait for about 5 minutes till you can completely peel this off. Do not peel this off at this moment because it's quite wet and the rava is not cooked. So keep the flame on medium high and just wait for 5 minutes. So see the rava looks cooked. I'm just going to pull out the foil. Pour a little bit of ghee in the holes. And that's how it should look like. So it's been about three minutes, three to four minutes. It looks cooked to me. But uh, I'll just leave it for another minute more because I, I want the rava to be cooked. As you can see, it's a slightly thick uh, dosa. It's not completely a very thin one. So I'm going to show you another way. If you're not comfortable using the foil, I'm going to show you directly on the tawa itself. So make sure your tawa is um, a little cool. So now I'm just going to wipe out the water. Pour a bit of ghee. Spread the ghee a bit, like a big bowl of and directly tap it on the tawa. Spread it carefully. Don't make it too thin as you may burn your hand while doing so. Just be very careful. And now with your spoon, just make three holes for the oil or ghee. So I'm going to cover this 
and let it be for about uh, two to three minutes. Uh, this looks completely cooked to me now, and I'm going to serve this on a plate. You, this dosa has taken me about three, three and a half minutes on each side, and this is how it looks. I have served it with some white butter and uh, it's quite hot and it's already melting and I'm tempted to eat this. So this dosa is a perfect example of making the best out of waste. We're using up the whole fruit and it's healthy and it's very tasty. Make this, let me know how you like it and keep watching my recipes. Thank you.